Uh, hi, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I'm Sriniketa from Chennai. Uh, I was a freelance content writer. Now I'm switching my career to UI UX designing. I've been doing this course for uh, three months, and now I'm here to present my main project, UX case study. And also. So, uh, my project is a pet adoption app called Pettivos. Uh, so, uh, Pettivos is a pet adoption app that simplifies the adoption process for both uh, adopters and as well as a pet uh, owners who are trying to give up their pet for an adoption. And then, actually, the problem statement it, uh, it was faced by me personally, and also I have seen similar cases uh, uh, with my friends who are trying to give up that pet, and also they couldn't find the proper resources to post their pet on, so they had to leave their pet on the sheets. Uh, so uh, I have personally seen that. So that's the uh, problem statement, and the goal is to create a um, create a platform, trustworthy platform uh, for a pet owner. Uh, to completely trust on a platform to give up that uh, pet for an adoption. So solution, therefore, from the problem statement and the goal, I derived up a solution, which is a Pettiverse, my uh, pet adoption app, which is a reliable platform that a pet owner can rely on, uh, rely on and have a clear features and have a um, required resources uh, for, for the adoption process. And these are the tools that I've used uh to do this project and i have all, done all these uh, things by myself research user interview user persona flows wireframes visual design ux design and user interest. yeah what is the third one the tool the tool go to yeah clip studio it's an illustrator app yeah i've done these uh, illustration all by myself uh so yeah Great. Yeah, that's, that's why I've included. So then comes the design process. This is the method that I've used. Discover, empathize. We have already seen the discover process. And then we'll see uh, these process step by step. So first comes the uh, user journey. So user journey, the journey of a user along the adoption process I have listed here. So task list, uh, first realizing that we have to give up on the, uh, give up our pet is not a great feeling. Uh, the users will obviously feel sad. So I have given a, a sad emoji here, neutral uh, emoji here. And the planning and research can be a hectic process without a lack of uh, resources. And searching on the internet without any uh, guide point and uh, uh, choosing the best of, best course of action with the limited options we have is not a great feeling. Uh, so I have I've also given a, a feeling frustrated emoji here. And then reaching after finding a potential adopters, we can find a little relief that uh, like our pet have uh, hope. Uh, so I have given a um, feeling happy emoji after uh, finding out the uh, potential adopters. And doing the comparison, contacting them can be a little uh, like little hard process. So I've given uh, another a neutral emoji. So evaluation, conducting interviews and uh, home or shelter visits, we can, uh, that can be a quite hectic process. Because uh, uh, the visits might not uh, meet our expectations, uh, and making the final choice is a uh, hard. Like giving up a pet is not an easy task, and giving up a pet to an exchange is not also an easy task. Uh, so that's why I have given a feeling frustrated emoji here. And lastly, safety dropping the pet to the owner, uh, the like trustable owner, uh, and. Uh, feeling satisfied with the whole adoption process. Uh, so that's why I've given a happy emoji here. So this is the user journey for the whole adoption process. And then I've done a competitor analyzing. Uh, first of all, there aren't many pet adoption app to do this competitor analysis. I only found the three, uh, three to four apps that I've listed here, Adopt Pet, Pets Adoption, Pet Perfect. And all these three have like ton of uh, negative reviews and the informa misinformation uh, was maximum in these uh, three apps and they also had a poor surface which was stated in the review uh, stated in the user reviews and user experience was bad at adopt pet also and there aren't much features like uh, some of the apps are only catered to dogs only uh, which I was not a big fan of. I seen my friends like struggle to give up their like st struggle to post their cat up for an adoption, so they had to leave uh, leave it uh, leave it behind. Uh, so some most actually the three of these apps only catered to dogs, not all kind of pets. Then why did they 
uh, like mentioned pet in their uh, like name uh, so it, actually it was one of the review also for the uh, this one pet burger so uh, and as i said animal variety there aren't much uh, pet varieties allowed in these apps but i have i have uh, tried to change it in my uh, app try to include uh, like pet inclusiveness in my app so this is a user persona i have actually interviewed my friend who uh, just as i said uh, who gave up their cat up for a, uh, like who left their cat uh, cat on the streets because no option available so i have interviewed her so she said she couldn't find any app in the first place she couldn't find any app in the india in the tamil nadu at first place uh, that offering a wide variety of uh, pet adoption process uh, so the goals is uh, apps feature should cover all kind of pets so pets inclusivity then detailed comprehensive profile of our app detailed description and then verified user so that we don't get scammed by any uh, any users and then need categorize it search filter like uh, gender location within the surrounding age uh, and that categorize it search filter and referral option adoption tracking option and then a uh, feature to share pet profiles to some other people so yeah that and frustration yeah as i said only available for dogs some of the uh, uh, pet apps that are in the market is only catered to dogs or cats but not uh, any other pets uh, so yeah and lack of profile ad, uh, updates i have seen the in the comprehensive analysis we have seen these three uh, apps right and all these three apps had a same problem where lack of profile ad, uh, profile updates even though the pet was adopted and was given away uh, but they had listed in in their uh, app still it was in the feed still as a uh, available option and then uh, with the help of the user uh, persona i have done derived a uh, empathy mapping these are the same thing freeland does and after that information architecture so after opening app you will get a splash screen if you are new user you go to sign up or if you are existing user you can log in and you will get a home page in the home page you have uh, uh, three three pages to navigate to messages community and profile first let's see the home page home page you will get the search feed pet profiles and add post uh, feature where you can uh, post your pet for a listing and uh, categories also where home pets you can have cat dog and uh, for the categories farm pets exotic pets aquatic pets yeah you can choose any of uh, any one of them and then notifications favorites and then you have hamburger menu which uh, goes up to blogs tips help and support and much more things and here we have messages messages where we can uh, chat with the potential adopters or you can chat with the uh, uh, chat with your uh, pet owners so uh, chat and uh, you also have a call log audio or video conference if you want to have an online home visit or online shelter visit they can show you the uh, shelter uh, so you can gain trust yeah and contact information so then uh, there also a menu where you can request home visit and schedule adoption date which opens up a calendar uh, where you can choose the date and then the community uh, the community uh, you can create a right post where a fellow uh, users can see can share their thoughts uh, can post their questions and can uh, get reply so that's what community pages and profile page as we all know profile page has settings log out and personal information which includes the contact your pet history and your addresses and all that next comes the wireframe these are my midfielder wireframe and the design system okay at first we will see the typography uh, i've chosen a, a poppins font because it will offer a, a better readability so i don't want to choose something uh, uh, i don't want to choose a font that's hard to read or like complicated uh, so that's why i chose the normal one in poppins and the color i have chosen a, a pale blue and pale orange which gives a sense of a pale blue will give a uh, like cooling uh, sense and for warmth i have added a pale uh, pinkish orange and illustration uh, so i chosen a bl black cat as my uh, mascot for my pet adoption app so it's a little fun element so that user uh, wouldn't get bored so this is the logo and how it will look on my uh, home screen so i have added some of my ui components here 
and let's move on to the high fidelity screens. These are my splash and onboarding screen. I have added a three onboarding screen to this typical option, which will get you to the home page directly. And this is the login and sign up page. Uh, I've also included a feature to sign up uh, using uh, these apps, Google, Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. Then comes the home page. So uh, home page, at first, we can see the hamburger menu. Uh, which will open up to uh, 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 many other things that uh, uh, pet owners can get used of. And there is a favorites uh, icon, uh, which will open your favorite screen, like uh, the pet you liked uh, and save for later, and the notification screen. And there is a search bar with the filter option. And this is a little banner to uh, encourage users to join on the community. And this is the category. Actually, I kept it simple, not to overwhelm the users. Uh, so I've given a quick view of categories that are uh, most popular, which are cats, dog, rabbit, and fish. Uh, so it will show the feed will show feed will recognize your location uh, here. Here it's Bangalore, so it will recognize the pets that's available near this Indra uh, location. So it will also showcase that uh, distance if it's. Uh, um, below the two kilometer or in that range, it will highlight that here in the profile listing. And also we also have the name, age, and the gender of the uh, pet and the breed name of the pet here. And you'll have the option to like and comment on it, to comment on the profile listing. And you'll, you also have an add post option where, uh, yeah, as I said, uh, you can add your uh, pets for, up for an uh, add your pet listing, pet profile to adoption which will uh, showcase here in your feed, in other users' feed. Then comes the community page. So community page, actually, I got inspired from the Facebook community. I was in the Facebook community, which is a, a dog, a, like a German Shepherd, uh, like something like that. Uh, actually, Facebook has a wide variety of pet community. So I took inspiration from that and tried to, uh, try to uh, do it in my adoption app. So result is this one. Uh, so where you can chat with the, if you have any doubts, you can post on it uh, where other users can reply and you will get insights from the other users also. And you, if any activity is going on, like any pet related activities, dog walking, uh, like you can join them uh, via community page. Yeah. And comes the pet profile. After clicking into the pet listing, it will get you to this page. So where you can see uh, the pictures of a pet and you'll see here age, height, and weight of the pet. And you'll see the little bio, a uh, little description of a pet. And you can see owner details and health and wellness report, whether the pet is dewormed, whether the pet is vaccinated, whether the pet have any health-related issues. Uh, all the details will be, uh, you can view it here. And if you are interested, you can click on the interested button, which will change into, uh, yeah, this one. Uh, with, uh, and the owner will get the notification uh, that uh, you are interested in that pet, and then you can chat via message. So this is the user profile. So I've included uh, uh, personal information and contacts and preference where uh, you can change your app settings. And personal information, the usual contact, my address, my account, and the pet details. So these are the messages and the chat screen. So where you can chat with the uh, owner or potential adopter. So, so this is the menu where you can uh, select whether to uh, or, like whether to home request home visit or uh, schedule an adoption. So blog screen. So this screen will come up after uh, after clicking on the hamburger menu and going to the blog section which you'll see later on in my prototype. Uh, so blog session, I have included this blog section because uh, I've noticed that a lot of the uh, blogs about the pets on the internet are not from credible resources. So I have uh, tried to include it, uh, try to uh, change it in my uh, in my um, app where only, uh, only veterinary doctors or an authorized personnel can post their blog and it will be visible to every uh, users. So then uh, there comes the notifications and favorite section that's on the home page. Uh, here, after clicking on the interest in the pet profile page, you'll, uh, the pet owner will get a uh, notification like that. Like uh, this user expressed an interest in your pet. Like that, after clicking here, it will take you to the message, uh, message screen. Uh, yeah, there you can chat with the. So these are the few more pages that I've designed. I've also included a video uh, of doing it. Uh, 
doing the like working the app myself and i've also included the prototype i'll play the prototype now so now i'll give a sign up so you'll go to the uh, home page and here you can go to the favorites page and your notifications page and you can open up the hamburger menu where you can see all the options that are available and i'm choosing blogs and for categories if i want cats i can see here and if i like this pet i can go to the hair and express my interest or i just want to express my uh, uh like i want to reply to the post i can reply to your dogs and there is rabbits and there are fishes and then this is the message screen so if you want to come and click the adoption date and i can also check the status of our adoption process adoption tracking option i have given so it's under review and there's community page i can see the trending post here and for you post and profile. Yeah, that's it.